Hi, my name is David Rosales. I'm the pastor of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley, California. It's been said, the more things change, the more they remain the same. This reminds me of something Solomon wrote in Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9. He said, that which has been is what will be. That which is done is what will be done. And there's nothing new under the sun. The more things change, the more they remain the same. We're living in a very difficult time. The faith of many is being severely tested. We need to remember that the times we are enduring are not unique to us. Over the centuries, there have been many times of difficulty that the church has faced. From the very beginning, the enemy has done many things to undermine the work of God in the church. He's instigated persecution, infiltrated the church through bad doctrine, has provoked people to live carnally, has attacked through intellectual arguments, undermined marriages, caused division, corrupted the use of spiritual gifts. Though all of this has occurred, the church remained and has endured because Jesus clearly said the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The church in the United States is clearly under attack. This attack has come from outside in a variety of ways, including government intrusion and a virus. It's also come under attack from the inside. I haven't seen the church this divided in all the years that I've been a Christian. Much has to do with the advent of social media. There was a time when you had a disagreement with something that had been said or a personal problem with someone, you would actually take the time to speak to them. This is not happening as much today. Some still follow scriptural guidelines and speak personally to the person they have a problem with. But most simply post their disagreements on social media for all to see and for any who might desire to jump in to the conversation to add their own opinions. This kind of thing is so common that it's now considered not only normal, but proper. There seems to be no shortage of experts on any given subject who seem to think that the world needs to read their unfiltered thoughts. The ones who concern me the most are the ones who are so free to teach people concerning Scripture and how to serve the Lord properly. In the New Testament, to safeguard the church, a system of letters of recommendation came into existence. You see it in various books of the New Testament, including 1st and 2nd Corinthians, and it's alluded to in 3rd John. This system was intended to protect the sheep from being tainted by false or immature teachers. And to be honest, you ought to exercise the same concern that the early church had concerning the spread of misinformation or bad doctrine. It's almost daily that I read a post that may have good intentions, but is simply bad or undeveloped in its theology. When pointed out, the result is not sober consideration of whether what is being said is right or humble repentance when the thoughts are demonstrated to be wrong. The common response is an argumentative defensiveness and accusations. I know that my remarks are going to be met with the response that I'm speaking about, but may I ask you to deeply consider what you're saying before you furiously type out your undeveloped opinions? We need to join together to oppose the efforts of the devil to bring discord and division amongst us. Let's decide to love one another. And if you have a difference of opinion, then, then take the difference to the person you differ with. Refrain from writing your thoughts out and posting them online for all to see. Let's remember that united we can stand, but divided we will certainly fall. Take time to consider what I'm saying. This is David Rosales, pastor of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley, California.